Today, I'm going to explain the hero's journey using the Disney movie Moana. So I was in film class this week, and my professor started talking about the hero's journey. The hero's journey, or a monomyth, was established by Joseph Campbell in his 1949 book, The Hero with a Thousand Faces. This book essentially puts forward the argument that across cultures, many myths and stories have some things in common. I'm not a self-proclaimed expert on Joseph Campbell. I have not read the book, I've only read parts of it, but I did watch the power of myth interviews a lot, and I have spent a lot of time reading about the hero's journey and trying to understand exactly how all these plot elements fit together. I've also been in many classes where my professors have tried to make me understand how all of these plot elements fit together. The hero's journey is really important to understand when you're studying story structure. Many famous stories follow this arc, notably Star Wars, The Odyssey, and the story we'll be talking about today, Moana. Moana tells the story of a girl who has to go set out on a quest to restore an ancient curse in order to save her island. My film professor told us that Moana was the perfect example of the hero's journey. Because I was curious, I watched Moana this week with the printout of the hero's journey in front of me and wrote down the different plot events that corresponded to the different parts of the hero's journey as I was watching. It was very fun. This video contains spoilers for Moana, so if you have not seen the movie and want to go see the movie and don't want to be spoiled, you should probably do that before watching this video. This is the printout I filled out while watching the movie. As you can see, the hero's journey has 12 steps. The first is the ordinary world. The ordinary world sets up what the world is like in the life of your protagonist before they set out on their quest. In Moana, the ordinary world is set up by the musical number Where You Are. In Where You Are, Moana's father sings about the island and their village. He establishes what Moana's future role is going to be. You learn about Moana's relationship with her parents and with the people that she lives with. You meet her grandmother, who's a very important part of this story. However, not everything in Moana's ordinary world is great. There is already an underlying tension in her ordinary world because she's drawn so deeply to the ocean and her father doesn't want her to go anywhere near it. There are repeated scenes in this song where she's running towards the ocean and her parents will swoop in and grab her and drag her in the opposite direction. This drive towards the horizon is a very important part of Moana's character, and that's established through her relationships with her family and her actions in this section during the ordinary world. The second plot point in the hero's journey is the call to adventure. The call to adventure is when the adventure starts. Calls to adventure usually take the form of some sort of problem that needs to be solved by the protagonist or a sticky situation that they've found themselves in that they need to climb out of. There is something that the hero needs to do, some reason they need to step up. In Moana, the ocean literally calls to her because the ocean chose Moana as the person to restore the heart of Tafiti. But the urgent call to adventure in the film is when this darkness slowly eating away at the islands reaches Moana's home. They open a coconut and there's something wrong with it. The fishermen come back and say that there are no more fish. Moana proposes the solution of going to fish beyond the reef. However, her father says that this is a bad idea. Despite what her dad says though, Moana takes a boat and goes and tries to sail beyond the reef. The ocean has been calling to her all of her life and now there's a really urgent reason why she needs to go beyond the reef. The third plot point of the hero's journey is the refusal of the call. This is usually the point where the hero doesn't want to go and be the one to solve this big problem. In Moana, this occurs when Moana tries to get in a boat and go beyond the reef, but she encounters a bunch of waves that knock her back and knock her back onto the beach. She gets trapped underwater and she has to use the rock to break her foot free. She washes up on the beach and she's really frustrated and she doubts herself and she decides that she isn't going to try to go past the reef and instead just take her rightful place on the island. This leads into the fourth plot point which is meeting the mentor. The mentor offers the hero some sort of guidance. They can offer some wisdom, they can equip the hero in some way. Moana's mentor is her grandmother. Right after Moana washes up on the beach, really frustrated from having been beat up by the waves, her grandmother comes out and talks some sense into her. Her grandmother shows her the boats of their ancestors. She tells Moana that they used to be voyagers and validates this call to the ocean that Moana has been feeling her entire life. She tells Moana that she needs to go save the island by restoring the heart of Tafiti. Moana's grandmother tells her that the ocean chose her her to go restore the heart. This instills Moana with the courage that she needs in order to go embark on her adventure. This leads to the fifth plot point, which is crossing the threshold. When the hero crosses this first threshold, they enter this special world and really begin the adventure in earnest. If the story is about a quest, it's when your hero leaves for the quest. Like in Moana, 
it is when she literally crosses past the reef. The sixth plot point is a kind of big one. Tests, allies, and enemies. In this section of the story, your hero meets a lot of new people and encounters some challenges. First, Moana encounters the test of the storm. She hits a big thunderstorm and ends up getting knocked off of the boat and finding herself washed up on the shore of Maui's island. Secondly, she meets Maui. He's initially an enemy when he locks Moana in the cave, but he eventually turns into an ally as she badgers him with the ocean's help. Moana convinces Maui to help her in her mission. Both Moana and Maui face enemies in the form of the pirates. They also face enemies when they go and try to steal Maui's hookback from Tamatoa. Each of the obstacles that they face become more substantial in size. Maui is a smaller obstacle than the pirates, which is a smaller obstacle than Tamatoa. This leads to the seventh plot point, which is the approach. The approach is the section where your hero prepares to confront the villain. They prepare to confront the evil or reach the location where the final goal of the quest is located. This section happens when Moana and Maui are preparing to face Teka. Maui second guesses his ability because he isn't able to shapeshift the way that he wants to and Moana gives him a pep talk. Then they train together and there's a whole montage where Maui is getting his confidence back. Maui gets confident and they are ready to face Teka. The eighth plot point is the ordeal, death, and rebirth. This is when your hero faces their biggest challenge yet. It could be your hero's greatest fear. It can be the biggest enemy. The hero has to emerge changed in some way. This happens in Moana when Moana and Maui face off against Teka and are horribly defeated. They are crestfallen. Maui gets really angry and leaves Moana and Moana hits her lowest point in the story. She considers giving up when her grandmother comes back. Her grandmother, being the mentor that she is, gives Moana some words of encouragement and leads her into the ninth plot point, which is reward and seizing the sword. This is when your hero sees the light at the end of the tunnel. They were at their lowest low, but now there is new hope. They metaphorically or actually seize their sword. Moana screams her name. She reclaims her name and she swims down to the bottom of the ocean to get back the heart of Tafiti that she let back into the ocean. She seizes the heart of Tafiti and her identity and brandishes them like a sword. She is newly empowered and she's going to face Teka on her own. The tenth plot point is called the road back. The story isn't over quite yet. There are still more obstacles facing your hero before they can go home. The hope that your hero found when they seized the sword might be a little farther away than they thought. There are still some formidable obstacles standing in their way. Newly empowered, Moana goes and faces Teka on her own. This is a difficult conflict. Teka is very powerful, but Moana is able to get through the rocks and closer to Tefiti, and then Maui comes in and gives her a little bit of backup. It is during this conflict that Moana reaches the 11th plot point in the hero's journey, which is the resurrection. The resurrection is the main climax of the story. Everything that's happened in your story thus far has led up to this one moment. In Moana, this is when she realizes that Teka is Tefiti. Moana literally resurrects Tefiti by restoring her heart. Life comes back to Tefiti, the island blossoms again in green. And during this conflict, your hero is changed. And then the 12th and final plot point in the hero's journey is the return with the elixir. This is when your hero returns home triumphantly. They often bring something back home with them, but this doesn't always have to be an object. It can be something they've learned, a way that they've changed, or it can be an object. In Moana's case, she returns triumphantly after having restored the heart of Tefiti and saved her island. She brings all the stuff she learned about wayfinding and about herself and her people back with her, which fundamentally changes the way that she and her family live. Instead of being afraid to leave their island like they were in the beginning, it ends the movie going and exploring and wayfinding and sailing the seas. So there you have it. This is the hero's journey. Obviously, this is a pretty simplified version of it, but this should give you a general picture of how everything looks. I'll put some links in the description if you want to look into the hero's journey in a more in-depth way. Next time you watch a movie, keep your eye out and see if you can spot any of these plot elements in it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more writing content coming out every Monday. I post actionable things that helped me grow as a writer that I learned from my classes or just from writing. Make sure to follow me on social media. I'm on all the normal platforms and especially active on Instagram. And if you know another movie that's a great example of the hero's journey, make sure to comment below so I can see. See you later, guys.